I think it's pretty rad to have kind of this evolution of like, you know, I came here as a camper when I was younger, loved it, it really helped me progress forward in, in snowboarding. And that was all due to like, you know, Preston Stroud and the Blue Lodge guys who were kind of running camp at that time. And uh, they really helped me with a direction of what I wanted to do in snowboarding. And that's how I really got into like filming and, and kind of jumping and doing, you know, different side of snowboarding than the path that I was on. Coming to camp is really like the only opportunity that you have to go out and ride with kids who are your fans. It's just rad to like come back year after year and being able to, to influence the next generation of snowboarding. All the memories kind of start here at the lodge because when we weren't snowboarding, we were either skating here in the street course, which hasn't really changed too much, or hanging out in the lodge. I just remember being a camper and like fully embarrassing myself during like the talent show and skate contests and stuff like that. And like, I don't know, just hanging out in the lodge and like. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I made out with a girl over on that side of the lodge. Oh yeah. Did you get that backy today? Uh, no, I just bumped out my toe edge. Oh, bummer. Yeah. You're ripping. At the beginning of the week, you know, everyone's super timid and no one wants to talk to you. You're nervous, like myself. I talk to the kids or whatever, and now at the end of the week, it's like everyone's homies. What's always crazy too is like the kids who come in for for snowboard camp and they're so good at like other stuff. Like we went and played soccer the other day. And then like coming down to the bowls, like there's always a few kids who are just insane skaters. where you get to, to know the campers and you know it kind of levels the playing field a little bit like myself I'm a terrible skateboarder but I'll dork around here all day and be working on the same tricks as some 14 year old kid. It's kind of random because Plymouth is like a really random town. It, it continues to like produce really good snowboarders. Or like Mike Rav, you know, Rav go from a camper at my signature camp to like having a part in a film together. I looked up to Pat for a long time. I saw his footage in grenade videos that I was like, I watched religiously, you know, just to have like proximity to him. And when I was a camper at Pat's session, my good friend Cole broke his leg. And I remember Pat giving him a snowboard as he was on the way out. Pat's pretty much the same now. He cares about the campers. It's amazing to see what he's doing in snowboarding because he's reinventing. Once I started riding for Vulcan, then I started going on some trips with him and I was fortunate enough to film for Mr. Plant. I really wanted Rav to be in Mr. Plant. I thought that he could bring a cool like energy and different style to the video um, than what I would bring to it. So we would be in the van together, you know, driving around and just looking at the city in a totally different perspective. I was like trying to find a wall or a gap or whatever and he's just like, He's like, oh yeah, I could ride anything. Just drop me off and I'll figure it out. <laughs> and like that mindset was contagious. There's plenty in snowboarding that I haven't gotten to try yet. That's kind of the beauty of it is you could be, you know, great at half pipe, but you go and try and ride rails with guys like Rav. Oh, you're always entertained and there's always something new to, to learn. Next season, we'll be really focusing on filming with Travis and trying to have a big part in his film. You know, there's still a lot to do.